Hi everyone. I am going to show you a recipe for something I call cottage cheese filet. It's great as breakfast. You could also use it for dinner if you're so inclined. And it makes a great dessert. I'm starting out with butter in the pan. And what I'm going to do, I have that on about medium. So what we're going to do is fry some bananas, pineapples, and cherries. And what I did was I put the butter in the pan and I peeled a banana about that size and I cut it into pieces. And I also put a little bit of canned pineapple in there and I'm gonna put the cherries in. So I'm getting started by frying them. These are dark, sweet cherries and they are frozen because if you use fresh ones, then you have to pick them and that takes forever. So I had a can of pineapples, 15 ounces. I only put a few, uh, took a few slices out of there. But this amount in here is going to make enough for about three plates. Um, and I also put maybe about 15 cherries in there. And like I said, the banana I cut up in pieces. And now I'm frying them in some butter. Getting them all nice and soft and happy together. And as you can see, the cherries are giving up some of their juice, so it's actually making like a sauce in there. Hi everyone. I wanted to let you know that I am going to have a random drawing for a $100 Visa gift card. So what you have to do to win this $100 Visa gift card is you have to subscribe to my channel and then you have to share from my channel to your social media. There's two of the upcoming videos. You need to share them on your social media from the direct page of YouTube, from my page. That's how we're going to know whether or not you have done that. And then you get entered into this giveaway. So you have the entire month of April to uh, enter this contest and the drawing will be made on May 1st. My stuffed shells recipe, and the other one is my pecan pie muffins recipe. You need to share one of those, and then you'll get entered into the contest. So this video will be in the description of my upcoming videos. That way you will know which ones to share. Good luck! on like a medium heat, but they weren't frying fast enough and you basically want to fry them. So I turned the heat up a little bit on the burner, probably up to around medium high. And uh, I'm sauteing them. And like I said, these cherries are starting to give up some of their juice. So it's making like a sauce for it. And once I see the cherries have started to burst, basically, I'm gonna try and Squish them a little bit so they can fry on all edges. This is what the mixture looks like when I take it out of the pan. And this is way too much for one dish. So I'm going to split this in about thirds and then put it on another plate and then add the cottage cheese. And I'll show you what that looks like. When I'm... So I have here some small curd cottage cheese. And when the plate is what the fruit looks like in the center. And I'm just going to dollop some cottage cheese around the edges so that when you're ready to eat, you just pull in some of the fruit into the cottage cheese and enjoy it. Mmm, delicious. Manja.